Hello, uh, today I added Progressive Web App or PWA support to iOS uh, for uh, Kame Sami. Basically how it works is that if you want an app-like experience from the app, you can go ahead and just add uh, any page from Kame Sami to your home screen. Lands right there, you'll need to log in uh, separately. So let's see if we can get that to go and it'll remember if you spell your email address right. All right, cool. So I'm logged in now. Uh, you can see that it uses like a fixed header now for the for the top since it knows it has the whole screen. Uh, you can pick on some reviews. Uh, one thing that I did was um, if you search and you're in like the item view, there's a new back button that'll pop up down at the bottom here uh, so you can get around without the, uh, the browser Chrome. And then once we're in here, let's do a little exercise. So Kiku for Chrysanthemum. Enter. Uh, now you can see uh, uh, you got lots more space to work with, obviously. One really nice thing uh, when you're working, though, is that it won't ask you for permission every time you open a new app. So if I click the Japanese app here, it goes straight to the item uh, because uh, it, this, you know, iOS considers this to already be trusted because I've installed it. Uh, I can also open Midori right away. And so I think this is just like the superior way to use the app uh, when you're on an iPhone uh, because, because everything's going to be much lower friction. Uh, so there you go, PWAs. They're kind of a thing on iOS.